All right, cycle 44. This one I have spent very little time pre-planning. Uh, I think that the sketch is pretty self-explanatory. Guy's got arms up like this, and he's down, he's gonna go up, down, up, down, up, down, I think. Uh, that's, that's my idea. Oftentimes I come into these cycles thinking I'm gonna go, you know, one action and then the opposite action and it ends up turning into just a huge circular motion. But when I think about planning that, I, I find it difficult to, to visualize. How am I gonna get a circular motion out of something that's a, kind of a left-right, or a, you know, if it's 12 drawings, it's one and then seven, and then 13 and one are the same drawing. Um, so yeah, I just, I'm just gonna let it go like I usually do and have been coming up with uh, generally good results, a lot of happy accidents. Uh, I really want to push the silhouette here. Um, I'm not sure about that open hand at the top, what I'm going to be doing with that. Uh, head angle change, I'll probably be doing lots of that. Again, if I end up with a circular motion, I'll probably have something like this going on, which doesn't make a lot of sense for the one, two, but uh, we'll see how it all turns out. Uh, I'm going to leave the spikes till the end. Same with those scales. I'm not quite, a, quite sure what kind of creature this is. It's a combination of a few different animals, I think. And then the little vampire fangs there. Um, and the funny ears to the side. Yeah, yeah, it should be uh, pretty fun. I'm, I'm just looking at this drawing a little bit more in depth now. I did this a few months ago. I did one leg with straight lines and the other leg with purely curved lines. I'm gonna be simplifying that. I'm gonna be probably going with curves for the most part overall, just uh, cause that's, that's easier to animate. It's easier to think about I'm just gonna get from here to here and uh, lots of drag and overlap. Not worrying too much about the joints or foreshortening. Um, yeah, silhouette, silhouette's the other big thing. I mean, I've got that front arm completely inside the body right now and when the arm comes across the body, it'll have to be uh, partly inside that silhouette as well. But other than that, I wanna push the silhouettes as much as possible. And looking at the space I've got here, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to take advantage of my, uh, my, get to my right layer here, uh, my vertical space for sure. Lots of stuff there, but I imagine I'll be going over here as well. I don't think I'll be touching these top corners, but you never know. All right, time to get down to it. Let me just quickly put my layers here or my uh, frames. So what I do is I set up my 12 frames before. I uh, start drawing and I color code them all just so I can flip between them. And there's back to one. All right. And there we go, 24 frames. And you see the first frame and the last frame are gonna be the same. That's just, uh, that helps me uh, hook the cycle up. When I, uh, I usually start to, I, I've kind of hit a pattern now where I go straight ahead for the first six, seven, eight drawings, and then I go to drawing uh, 12, uh, which is gonna be matching up to drawing one, and I start working backwards to hook up the cycle. Because if I just kept going straight forward here, I would have some really bad cycle hookups. So yeah, straight forward, straight forward for about two thirds, and then work my way back, meet in the middle. All right, time to draw. Fifteen, pretty good. 
Uh, I was already five minutes behind uh, after my first two drawings. And I was starting to go in the direction of making it so that it was just one big circular motion. But uh, around drawing five, I looked at it and I thought, yeah, I can force it back down to drawing seven. So just to, to break down the workflow and the process. So I'm doing 12, 12 drawing cycles, 24 frames, one second. It's, it's based on the beat of the music. And uh, so that means that drawings 1, 7, and 13 are uh, the opposites, generally, if you've got a walk or if you've got a run or any kind of movement where you need to break it up into the beats. It's going to be 6 drawings, 12 frames per kind of separate beat. So if I'm going to be going up to one, up to the other, it's got to be, if I'm, unless it's going to be asymmetrical, which I've done on some cycles, it's got to be like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or let me do this again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, seven. Seven is one. It's hard to act it out. Uh, I haven't thought about it in those terms, but basically what it means is I have to hit the opposite of one on seven. So let me see if I can do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, yeah, and uh, one also, you know, being the same as 13, when you get to 12, 1, 12, 13, 12, 1, same thing. Okay, so all that being said, uh, first couple frames, I started moving the head down, but the, I started the body moving up on the third frame. Body's moving up on the second, or down on the second frame, then the body's moving up, so we've got this nice overlap with the body going one direction, the head going another direction. Pushing off with the feet here. This drawing here and these drawings when I pushed up, I uh, eventually uh, shifted these up just to get a bit more hang time there. Because uh, when I was doing a straight ahead drawings four and five, I was going up with a lot of speed, so I had to I had to counter that and uh, settle it in at the top there. So there's drawing six coming down. I also shifted this up. The foot here was initially on the ground, and I shifted it up because it still works with the foot off the ground. But this also just gives us more hang time. Then we hit the ground harder. That head continues down. That's working great. Get some nice follow through there. That Look at that left uh, screen left arm. That's following through really nicely as well. Tail's coming up, eh, maybe a little fast, but it's working. And then we shoot back up there, great. Hit that uh, top part there with the hang time. Again, this foot here, this drawing was originally down here, but I shifted it up here just so we could get extra hang time going on. And boom, there we go. And we're gonna hit back and the head's gonna continue down. So I think this should all work pretty nicely. I'm looking at the way that the, uh, I've got the arms waving here. Yep, that's following through nicely. The tail's a little bit, uh, a little bit static up at the top there. It kind of reaches a little bit too quickly, but uh, overall it's working, I think. And one thing I did here is I changed my first drawing with this foot coming down here for uh, some asymmetry. So I'm just gonna copy that over here. Drawings 1 and 13 are the same. All right, <laughs> enough talking. Let's give it a play. Yep, it's, uh, it's necessary to, uh, to be able to have a, a repetition of that jump so I can do the jump twice. Boom, 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 boom. It's, uh, it doesn't have that same flow that I, I like that I've done in a lot of them where I get a right, really big circular motion. But uh, yeah, this is good. Uh, it it's feels a little bit, uh, the arms are giving a nice overlap, but uh, the overall action feels a little bit less unique, a little bit more repetitive because I did cheat those drawings. Like you can see here, if I go back to, uh, just uh, check this out for a second. You can see drawing one and seven, bodies in the same spot. Drawings two and eight, bodies in the same spot. Three and nine, three and nine, bodies in exactly the same. Even the head isn't changed, it's just the arms and the tail. Uh, four and 10, bodies uh, shifted slightly there. Five and 11, this saved me a lot of time where I didn't have to redraw the body every time. I just had to redraw the arms and the, uh, the tail and uh, the legs I pretty much kept the same, though I did have some asymmetry going on with uh, the legs here as well. But yeah, back to uh, playing it fully. Um, I'm pretty happy. It's, uh, <laughs> it 
it's got, it's got some nice energy to it. And I still have that nice flow with the arms. But looking at this now, I've really become attached to my, my uh, non-repetitive cycle where I'm doing a big smooth arc rather than a one, two, one, two. So I think, uh, yeah, this, this is good, but it's, uh, it's not giving me quite that same sense of, ah, oh, grabbing me and leading me by the nose that some of my other cycles have done. So it's good. It's, uh, it's working for me. I'd say I'd give it a seven, seven and a half, maybe out of 10 compared to some of my other ones that I've been really happy with. But, uh, overall the fact that I got this done in just over two hours, I'm thrilled. It's uh, cycle 44. I've only got 13 left to go uh, for my short film, so this is another uh, good addition to uh, everything else that I've that I've been able to put together there. And uh, you know, it's 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 not a story and narrative so much as it's it's somewhat more abstract, but uh, it's it's what uh, what keeps me going, what uh, is in my head, and uh, it's uh, it's definitely not what I'm doing at work. What I do at work is. Uh, motion capture and uh you know has a lot of fidelity to reality this is more just about barely making it believable than making it any any level of realistic all right thanks so much uh for checking it out and take care see you next time